Good morning, guys. Welcome to the July vlog. I am currently on my way to brunch, and I thought I would st start this. I can't talk this morning. <laughs> I thought I would start this vlog by showing you my handbag of the day. This is actually my handbag of the week because I've been carrying it all week. If you haven't seen my unboxing video of the Ruby Satchel, I'll leave a link below. Go watch it. I'm so so excited for this beauty. It has been a great carry for the entire week. Go check out my Instagram. My Instagram handle is at Yellow Sparks Joy. I shared all the pictures that I took this week with this bag. So styling outfits, all of that good thing. Um, and yeah, here I am, all dressed up, ready to go to brunch. Again, carrying Miss Ruby because I absolutely love this bag. So yeah, in this vlog, I'm I actually have a very busy weekend. Not busy, but it's fun. We have street wheelers this weekend in Lethbridge. I'm gonna be going out to see the cars and all the driving around town. I'm also going up to Calgary on Saturday and you know what that means. It means I'm going to Coach Boutique. I already have an appointment with my SA. Um, the Coach sale, the summer sale is still going strong. It was extended by one extra week um, and they added new items. Like if you bought anything with this new selection of items they added, let me know what you got because it was some good stuff. Like things sold out in minutes on the websites. So I'm going to my store to see what they have left and take a look at one of the bags, the tote bag, the straw one, um, the basket bag, because I told my essay I like it and now it's included in the sale and I'm torn. I'm torn between getting that now half price and waiting for the Reese tote to go on sale, maybe much later in the year and getting that. So if you guys could pick, would you pick the basket tote or the Reese tote. Let me know in the comments below. Your comments, your opinions will really, really help me a great deal, okay? Number one reason I'm going into the store is because of this beauty. This is my beat in the size 18 in the color ivory with the rivets. This is one of my oldest bags in my collection. I bought this bag. I'll leave all the videos on this bag below so you can go watch my history with this bag. But this is also one of my most used bags. And I took this bag with me to Lagos, Nigeria in April when I went for Easter. <sighs> and I messed it up. I was at the beach with my friends. And I put it down on the sand. And we're taking pictures. We're having a nice time. Well, it got drenched with seawater. Salty, harsh seawater i bought this bag full price guys and i mean the leather doesn't look so bad but i can see some wrinkling up here i don't know if the seawater caused that but the the metal is definitely brown and dirty i can see that for sure i tried to clean it out but i feel like i didn't do a great job the clasp is really hard and i can see some like corrosion on here i don't know if you guys can see that I'm pretty sure I can get it back to like pristine shape if I tried, but I don't want to mess it up and I'm not very good at cleaning. The interior still has like a lot of sand in it. Um, so I just called my essay and I've made an appointment, a cleaning appointment, and I told her I was gonna I told her what was wrong with the bag so that she'd be ready when I come in and hopefully. She's able to get this bag back to its beautiful glow because it may not come across on camera um, now. I don't think it's picking up, but the leather, it feels to me like it's so dry and I really don't want this bag to start cracking because when leather bags are too dry, they begin to crack and then it's ruined and I don't want that to happen at all. I did try to condition it, but I just feel like I didn't do a good enough job. It makes me feel so bad because... I bought this bag full price when I shouldn't have because it went on sale many, many times after that. And I could literally have gotten it for less, but I didn't know any better at the time. And when we were at the beach, there was some guy, like one of the security guys at the beach, who was literally telling us, pick up your bag, pick up your bag. And I'm like, the tide is not going to reach there. The waves are not going to reach where the bag is. I was so wrong. Like the wave just went up all the way to the sand swooshed over this bag and literally soaked the entire thing like all the things inside the bag my money 
my tripod was in there like the foldable selfie stick one different things were in there and it all just got soaked my memory stick was in there my files got corrupted it was a horror story so that's why i'm going into the store so um i'll take you guys with me hopefully i can film her cleaning it and hopefully she's able to restore it to its real true glory okay pray for me fingers crossed yeah so while i figured while i was there i would take a look at that tote the basket tote i'll also take a look at the wreaths and then i'll see what else they still have on sale if they have any new in items i know the observed by me collection is out uh if they have that because my store doesn't really get those kinds of collections but if they do um i'll probably share the shopping vlog in a separate video but that's what we're going to be doing over this weekend right now let's go and get some brunch yeah turn it this way oh silly keep that all in your video okay what <laughs> Time for street wheelers! Yay! Woo! I'm excited. I am excited. You're excited? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go see some nice cars. Yeah. So tired street wheelers was fun it was much please ignore this line I don't know how it got there in my mirror and I don't know how to get it off that's much better yeah but if you guys have any recommendations see like it's not just I'll still try to go over the mirror with my squeegee but um, I'm kind of running late this morning I told you guys I was going to Calgary so today is the day Street Wheelers was yesterday. Well, it's this entire weekend, but I just went for yesterday evening's event. It was fun. It was kind of monotonous at some point, but it was still fun. I've never been for the past couple of years I've lived here. So it was nice to experience that yesterday. I had a good time. And it was something to do um, in the summer, which this summer I am, I 100% have to like getting myself to go out every single weekend and take advantage of all of that sun and all of that beautiful weather so next day saturday i'm going to calgary with my friend and i'm wearing this dress that i got from walmart like i can't believe i actually got this dress from walmart so i went to walmart i was looking for um an outfit for my friend's daughter for the barbie movie that's coming out soon um, actually I might vlog that because I want I want to go with my son I got him this cute outfit from Old Navy that looks so much like Ken's outfit um, from the beach scene in the trailers and so I wanted to get something for my friend's daughter as well and then I just saw this dress like hanging on the racks and I'm like this is so perfectly casual to wear um, I had previously thought I was going to wear a pink blazer that I already have. Let me show you guys. This blazer that I got from Ash and Antler recently, I wanted to wear this and like a black corset um, bustier on the inside. But then I saw this dress and I'm like, this is so casual and perfect. So I bought it. I think it was about $15 at Walmart. It does have this cutout detail on the back. So I'm going to stop in at Victoria's Secret at the mall today because I want to get a bralette that has like a nice bag detail that I can wear with this so that my bra is not sticking out the way it is right now. And then I want to um, get, I want to go to Aldo because I know Aldo did a Barbie collection. So right now I've paired it with my Coach Heart Bag. So this is my bag of the day the quilted black heart bag and I just have it set with this charm also from coach this is from the outlet because there we go so I have this charm and I just have it to pull in 
the gold from my shoes because I am wearing my coach Sylvie sandals that I just unboxed in that same video with my ruby pink nails so pretty and I think I'm very ready for a Barbie summer. I don't know what is going on with me. I'm not a pink girl at all. But for some reason this summer, I have like added a number of pink things to my closet and I am here for it. That's why I'm wearing this outfit today. I wasn't going to wear it until the movie premiere next weekend. But I'm like, I'm going to wear it to, to Calgary today so that I can try on shoes and see what goes. I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase a purse from Aldo. If um, I like it and I can work it into my budget, I will. Otherwise, I don't need to carry a purse, honestly, to the movie. So this is the outfit for today. It's pink. It's black. It's giving chic Barbie. Chic, casual Barbie goes shopping. And I love that. So let's go to the mall, guys. Okay, look where we are. We at the Chinook Mall in Calgary. Everybody say hi to my Phoebe. Hi. She drove me all the way. She's such a sweetheart. I'm still half tired <laughs> from the last two days that I've had, but it's worth it because when I think about it in the winter, I will be very happy. So we're going to go into the mall now. Um, plan of action. Aldo, maybe Kate Spade, Coach. I think I'm not going to worry with Tory Birch on this trip. That's going to be a lot. But I do want to go to Victoria Secret. Do, do they have Victoria Secret as well? I don't think so. Uh, I need a bra for my dress. Oh, we can go to two places today. No, we're not. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Um, I will not bring you along in this video. That will be in the shopping vlog. I will definitely show you what is available still on sale and any new things that they have in store. So make sure you subscribe so you know when that video goes live. And if it's already live by the time you're watching this, I will link it below for you to go watch. I'll see you guys in a bit. Barbita, hi! <laughs> Look at that <laughs> ah, ah, What's the chance that I buy something from here? It's I love you. It's I love you. Um, this looks like the shoe she wore on Perfect Day, the Perfect Day party. Are you gonna watch the movie? I will watch it. I promise. Okay. Was I not recording? No, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like this one. And I don't like that one either. It's cute, but it's like. No, it's too Yeah, right? Like it's too childish Barbie. And honestly, this movie is for us adult Barbies. Just so we all know It's for adult Barbies. And then they have the one bag there. Okay, so these are the top two. Oh, hands down. Top two. Let's decide on which one. Hmm. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it, but I have to try the other shoes. Oh, wow. Okay, I like it. I like it. That was so much fun! We walked out of Aldo with a bag. Like this. Oh. Yes! I'm so happy. I'm totally ready for Barbie now. Yay! Yeah, it's not bad at all. But I would like to see the, the big one to compare to. Because it was between the big toe, the Reese and the basket toe. That's why I couldn't make up my mind.
Okay, so my essay is gonna help me clean it. Mm, I love this bag. It looks brand new. Yeah, if it was cleaned. Oh, Thank you yeah. so much. Because of the salt. Oh, I, I never even tried to remove it. I should have tried, shouldn't I? I shouldn't have left it on there. Yeah, I can see the whole. She took it to the beach in Lagos, yeah. And I stupidly left it on the sand, and the tide came up to where we were and washed over the bag. The leather is like so good, but that's the thing because it has dried out. I don't want it to start cracking, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yes. Another beautiful bag that Coach discontinued. I love the beads. The beads, it, the beads is still my favorite style till today. I have all of them. Yeah, I have the Amazon green. I have the clutch. Yeah, I have the clutch too. Okay, not gonna lie, my feet hurt. <laughs> I've been walking for what? Five hours? Mm -hmm. Maybe less. But I got a lot of good stuff. I'll give you guys a haul when I get home. I got stuff from Aldo. I got my bag cleaned and moisturized and conditioned. I got something from Victoria's Secret. Um, yeah, so I will definitely give you a haul. Right now we're going to get lunch. We are hungry and then we'll go home. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Where is this drink bottle again? Bellini, I like it. You can get them out of the places for hold on. It actually is. I told you. Like better. Better here yeah. because I can see more. Yeah. Well, no, I'm also like the sun. Oh, I wasn't quite sure, but no, I'm like the sun. <laughs> Hey guys, it is now the next weekend, like a full week has passed and I just go home from work. Let me show you my bag of the week. I've been using this bag now for two weeks straight and I absolutely love, love it. So I actually need to get ready to go watch the Barbie movie. It started showing in cinemas yesterday. Um, I, of course, I couldn't go yesterday because I was closing a little bit later yesterday I closed much earlier today but we're getting ready or I should actually start getting ready to go so of course you guys know already that this is what I'm wearing and I'm going to be accessorizing it with the stuff I got from Aldo so I'll show you that in a bit first I want to show you what I got for my son so I got him this set look at this from Old Navy oh my gosh I walked into Old Navy I was looking for what he could wear for the movie that was like inspired by the movie and i started researching ken and ken outfits and things like that so at first i thought he'd just do like a denim outfit and we could match because i am gonna wear a denim jacket but then i just walked into old navy one day and i saw this set and i'm like 
perfect he could go as beach barbie uh beach ken like in the movie it's not the same colors so in the movie um ken is wearing a pink and green outfit and i saw something that was very similar to that but it was already sold out and the shorts didn't come in his size so that was sad but then i saw this and i'm like perfect you don't even want to i got this at my store this i had to order from a store in saskatchewan saskatchewan is six hours away from me <laughs> because they were sold out at my store because it went on sale and everybody bought them up like but they are cute sets they had them in different prints for kids they had matching um bathing suits and i think t-shirts for dads and moms as well but they're so cute so he's going to be wearing this and then we went to walmart today and found ken so this is ken from the movie one of the scenes and this is what inspired this outfit so i'll show you guys when he's all dressed up but this is what inspired that so we saw this at walmart um and then i noticed that ken was wearing white shoes i think i knew but it didn't register but after looking at this guy and like okay ken's wearing white shoes we need to get you white shoes because why would i buy my my kid white shoes ordinarily he's he's gonna ruin them but purely so we can be on point i got him these from walmart um they're not lace-ups like ken's but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter so i think it'll be so cute um when he gets all dressed in his outfit and his shoes and he actually he, i promise i did not make him get this he saw it he wanted it and he said he wanted it so he could take it with him to um the theaters today so i got it from i couldn't resist okay okay so now let me show you guys what i got from aldo for myself so from aldo you probably already saw the handbag so um i'm gonna open that first i mean i was so surprised by this i did not expect to buy a purse i fully went to aldo just to get shoes right so but i saw it like immediately immediately i saw it i'm like i love that handbag it's a dupe for mew mew and I, it's not like I ever even had my eye on the Mew Mew version anyway. But immediately I saw this on display. I'm like, that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. So it definitely has that ruching. Very similar to the Mew Mew version. But for some reason, this logo here reminds me so much of Marc Jacobs. Does it not remind you guys of Marc Jacobs? Totally reminds me of Marc Jacobs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take this sticker off. Look at that, so pretty. And it says Aldo there. This bag. Honestly, the color of this bag, I just, it, it goes so well with many different pinks. So it goes with my pink, as you saw earlier. It's not the same shade, but it goes really nicely. And pinks, just like blue, it's very hard to match different shades. Greens, you can ma match the shades better. Browns, you can match the shades better. But um, pinks and blues are very, very difficult to put two different shades of that color family together. It's very difficult. But this just works, okay? This works. Look, th I'm, I'm actually going to watch the movie twice. Because <laughs> I'm going today with my son and I'm going on Sunday with my sister. So it's kind of like a girl's thing. And I didn't want to wait for them on Sunday. I'm going to go with my son today, enjoy our time together, and then I'll go with them on Sunday. So, look, perfect. Again, they're two different shades, but this bag just works well. Just works really, really well. I think it's closer to this blazer than the dress, but it just works really, really well. So I'm happy I got this. Even besides the Barbie movie thing, I'm actually happy I got this because I have nothing like this in my closet at all. So this is what I'm going to wear on Sunday, and I'm going to wear the dress today. Not the first Aldo bag I have. I had another Aldo bucket bag in blue and white fabric actually that was one of my very first videos on youtube i will link it please don't cringe while you watch it oh my gosh i don't even think i can bring myself to watch it again but i'll link it below just so you can you can go back and see if you never watched um me back then but this is another aldo bag i have this is the aldo sabo it is of course able to take out dupe for the pouch bag and i absolutely love it i ha i've had this for four years it has never let me down absolutely love it so and this is a similar um feel of the pleather so i know i'm going to enjoy this just the same way i've enjoyed this one so let's see if the tag says what the name is Orai, Orai. maybe that's the name the Orai. there so let me show you up close this beauty pick up the stickers 
So cute. And then the closure is like this. So it's closed and you open it and it's that. But it does have a long strap so you can wear it crossbody if you want. Honestly, I think I'm just going to be wearing it like this most of the time. You guys know I like handheld bags. Like this is how I like my bags and I can put it like this. It's so pretty. I wish they had like a smaller version so it could be like the Fendi uh, bracelet bag. You know that bag, right? This is really cute. I need, I really need to get ready. <laughs> I really need to get ready. Oh, it even comes with a dust bag. Oh, look. Aldo has stepped up. Look at that dust bag. Wow. I did not expect it to have a dust bag. Okay. Okay, Aldo. I see you. Do you guys know that I didn't even open up this bag at all while I was in the store? I had no idea what was on the inside. I had no idea what the inside looked like. And now I'm finally just opening it for the first time. So you can hardly see because this is actually, it doesn't open up very wide. But black fabric interior. You have one slip pocket at the back and you have one zipper pocket here. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much all there is to this bag. It's not, it does have a lot of capacity, but it's not easy to open because this part is stiff. It doesn't go beyond that. But yeah, I mean, it's just for the looks to me. I'm not looking for a functional bag. This is just for the looks. And I had no idea the shoulder strap or the long strap or chain. I thought, I actually thought it was also the pleather, but apparently it's chain. I guess I was just so excited by the bag that I didn't bother to examine it properly. But anyways, there we go. Mm, it's a nice, it's a nice length too. Nice strap jaw. Let me see. Let me look at myself. Oh, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy it worked out great because I didn't try it on in store at all. This is a very nice strap length. I can definitely carry this crossbody even though I know that I won't. This is how I'm going to carry it. Let me double that up. This is this is probably how I'm going to carry it. Like this. Oh, so cute. So cute. Okay, I need to get dressed. I need to I need to stop playing and get dressed. No, I need to show you the shoes first. Um, so the shoes that I ended up picking are these ones. Very cute, very simple. These are the Vitra shoes. Aldo Vitra shoes, and I got them in a size 10. So it's a little, it's not true to size because I'm usually or typically a size nine um, in shoes. But in sandals, I like to size up because I don't like my toes sticking out at all. And I don't like my heels sticking out at all, at all. So I got these in the pink, love that pink heel, pink mirrored heel, so gorgeous. These are very comfortable. The soles here are so soft and they were on sale. Let me tell you, that was the main reason why I picked these shoes because they were on sale. I didn't like the Barbie ones, the Claire, um, plastic Barbie ones because they didn't look elegant. They look like a toy, okay? Yes, I like Barbie, but I'm living my childhood fantasy. I don't want to look like a toy, okay? <laughs> that sounds funny to say because I say I like Barbie, but you guys know what I mean. So those shoes were too plasticky. They look like toy shoes. Um, the silver ones with the hearts were very pretty, but I was going there to buy pink, not silver. The pink version was not as pretty as the silver version, so I, I didn't go for that. The ones with the crystals that were not part of the Barbie collection were so beautiful. I would have bought that, but these were like 20 bucks or something, and those ones were like over $100, so, you know? I'm not going to pay that for shoes that I might only wear once. I mean, I'll probably find use for them after, but 20 bucks, 100 bucks for pink? Let's remember that pink is not my color, okay? Let's just remember. <laughs> so I picked these because they're simple, they're still classy, they have a heel, they're on theme, and I can definitely wear them again. All right, enough of me talking. It's definitely time to get dressed or else we're going to be late. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Hey 
Okay, turn around. Let me see my Ken. Look at him. How was the movie? Good. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part was uh, everything. <laughs> Good. Well, let's go home. Let's hear your doll. Ken doll. Is that Beach Ken? Yes. Such a long weekend, guys. <laughs> At the beginning of the summer, I'm like, I'm going to spend every single weekend in the summer doing something outside my house. And that's exactly what happened this particular weekend. I was out of the house Friday, Saturday, Sunday, one thing or the other. I got to see the Barbie movie twice. First time I went to, with my son. Um, second time I went with my sisters. So it was kind of like a girl's time out. Whew. It's, it was a busy weekend for sure. I had a couple of other things in between and I'm just, I'm very happy. Grateful for the warm weather. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in this one. Bye.